it is a mac and cheese kind of day. Well, my darlings, I am not going to fight it. <laughs> it is the most macaroni cheese day of all time. It's cold. It's November. This is the first time that I'm actually officially vlogging in November. <laughs> You'll have seen a few vlogs already, obviously, this month. Um, and it's raining. <laughs> And I've got a butternut squash in the fridge. That's a lie, it's currently in the Arga. So I thought I would do a butternut squash mac and cheese. I'm not gonna do like a cook with me, a thorough one, because you've seen me make about 9,852 mac and cheeses on this channel. But I'll just quickly tell you what I'm doing differently. We've got this stale <laughs> bit of seeded sourdough, I think, in the bread bin. So I'm gonna waz that up. I'm going to mix it with some grated parmesan and I'm going to go out to the garden, even though it's horrible out there, and get some thyme as the bread breadcrumb crispy topping. <laughs> I'm, I want it to be a kind of orangey colour because we eat with our eyes first. Butternut squash, orange. But even though butternut squash is orange, it doesn't actually make your mac and cheese go that orange. But what does make it go orange is red Leicester. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I'm in a weird mood this morning. Of course, parmesan as well, because that's essential. A little bit more garlic than usual. And I saw a post from, what is her name? M the Nutritionist. One of you guys actually sent me this post. She shared her butternut squash mac and cheese recipe. She puts a tablespoon of honey in her mac and cheese sauce. And I love to see what quirky little things other people do to their mac and cheese. So, uh, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's brave it into the garden. Let's go and get the thyme because fresh herbs do make a difference. I've got butternut squash in the arga. It needs a few more minutes. I just drizzled it with olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic granules, and a little bit of dried herb seasoning. That's been in the arga for 45 minutes. So it should be just about ready to scoop and ready to blend. Oh, thank goodness. I've just realized that um, there's some fresh thyme here in the kitchen so I don't need to go outside that's great because do you really want to go outside you're not I'm, I guarantee you're gonna do a 180 I guarantee it oh wow have you just realized that it's raining and now you want to come back inside watch him how long are you gonna last now you're just standing out there to be stubborn selection of cheeses, my red Leicester, my cheddar, my parmesan, and then this is the uh, bread whizzed up to make a breadcrumb. My butternut squash is out of the arga now, looking perfectly roasted. Water is boiling away, very nice and salted. And I always make my pasta sauce in my Our Place Always pans. And I just went on Instagram um, while I was waiting for the kettle to boil, and I've seen that these are in reduction for Black Friday, so I'll leave this link down below. I think it's between 30 and 45% off most things, so really good opportunity to get one. I've also got the little version in here. Can you see it? I don't know. Yeah, here, because that one's really good for omelettes. Now, I'm not sure if we've always had these. It looks like we have. It looks like we've used it a lot, or if Charlie just got them recently, because I did mention that I was looking for... Where's the other one gone? Have I gone blind? I swear I got two out. Um, yes, because I thought that these would be amazing for putting cookies in the arga and letting your cookie just like fill the pan, just like they do at Soho Farmhouse. But I've never, for some wild reason, done a mac and cheese in one, but I thought it would be absolute perfection. So I'm gonna do that today. Right, so this is pretty much my normal cheese sauce recipe, but with that little addition of honey, according to ooh, M's post, Gosh, it's so dark in here. I think there's actually like a storm going across the UK at the moment, but I don't really mind because I'm in the warm and mac and cheese is gonna be in my tummy within the hour. <laughs> Okay, 
you my darlings cheese sauce update so there's a few things a little bit different to my normal cheese sauce first of all i'm using the hazelnut milk that i made in the last vlog in my um nut milk making machine so hazelnut milk instead of regular milk just purely because it needs using up I noticed in the Ems post on Instagram, she used a chicken stock cube in her sauce, but I have got proper fresh chicken stock, well, I think it's actually turkey stock, um, in the fridge, homemade, of course. That blog post will be live by now if you wanna make your own veggie stock. Delicious for soups and loads of recipes. Uh, so yeah, a couple of little changes to my usual. Now, this is where the fun begins. I'm gonna add in a load of red Leicester and Cheddar. <laughs> Yum. Now it's at this stage that in her post, M adds in a teaspoon of honey. This seems so random to me, but I'm all for new recipes. Okay, here comes our pureed butternut squash. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna mix this in. Could whack the whole bit in the blender, but I think I'll be able to do this by hand. And now I'm gonna give this a taste test and see if I need any more seasoning or any more herbs and spices to make this extra delicious. Oh my gosh. The honey, I can actually taste it. That is amazing. Well, this is already looking sensational, but I've got my breadcrumb, parmesan and herb topping, and that is just literally gonna be the best ever icing on the cake. Oh my goodness. I've left the breadcrumbs quite chunky because they really crisp up and oh my goodness. Oh. Bit of time for garnish and that is ready to go into the aga to bake. Okay, my darlings, 15 minutes later. Oh, that's very hot. And we have got a beautifully toasted, can you hear it crackling? Can you smell it through the camera? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna pop some Gilmore Girls on and live out my absolute best rainy November day lunchtime life. Oh, yes. Hello again, my darlings. I have just about recovered from my post mac and cheese energy slump. I know all the, the glucose goddess tips on how to not get that energy slump by like eating something green first and then moving your body afterwards, but did I do any of those today? No, and it's still pouring with rain. So yeah, I feel like I need a good strong shot of coffee to perk me up again, but I need to be perked up because this afternoon I'm heading with Lala over to the Dales for Christmas preview evening, which is something that I really look forward to each and every year. It's a shame about the weather, it's absolutely pouring. I've just seen someone post on their Instagram stories. They've had to drive three miles through two foot of water to get to their horse's stable. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's crazy. So I need to think about what I'm going to wear. And that begins with footwear. So in fact, let me show you what um, I'm wearing right now, because this is the ultimate cozy outfit for, ooh, <laughs> nearly dropped you, for days at home. This is, of course, my gorgeous, slightly festive Beaufort and Blake jumper. I'm I'm only gonna say this once. I'm sorry about the lighting. It's obviously so dark and dreary outside. Um, but yeah, super cozy, slightly festive knit from Beaufort and Blake. And then I've got on my brown Varley leggings, which are super comfortable. And I'm probably gonna keep leggings on later. Maybe, I should wear something a little bit nicer because after, after the Dalesford, we're also going for dinner with Ben and Robin at a nearby pub, so maybe I should put on something a little bit jazzier. But then the star of the show, especially for today, really, is actually my footwear. These are um, a pair of gorgeous boots from Vivaya, whose Black Friday sale starts today, so I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a second. Um, but these ones I've had for a couple of years now, they're just so easy to slip on with a pair of leggings. They've got a really cute and cosy kind of 
faux fur shearling kind of style design and a very sneaky hidden wedge heel in there so if you are a little bit vertically challenged like I am that little height boost it's not even that little it's like a four inch height boost is very very <laughs> appreciated I'm gonna sit myself down again because that was quite enough acrobatics considering I've just eaten a massive mac and cheese but yeah I've had these I can't remember if it's two or three winters I instantly grabbed these the last time we had a snow day because they are the most versatile boots not only do they look really cute and cozy and very alpine chic in fact i've got something very special to attend next month with an alpine chic dress code and this is definitely going to be my footwear of choice but they are also completely water repellent which is absolutely amazing for days like today for snow days they've got a really practical sole which is very grippy but I can run across a soaking wet lawn to go and collect my puppy dog from howling at the neighbor's dogs in these and because the water just literally like bounces off them I don't mind wearing them <laughs> straight back into the house I know some people would find that absolutely appalling but they are almost like self-cleaning it's absolutely amazing in fact I've got my water glass that I've been drinking from here I'm gonna try and show you hopefully the lighting is okay so as you can see perfectly dry boots and then if I take a splash of water I'm hoping you'll be able to see what's happening here basically the water is literally just running off the shoe it's as though it's not fabric it's as though it's like glass or something the water just like falls off they're absolutely incredible so as I mentioned, Vivaya's Black Friday discounts start today. They have got some incredible discounts, which are kind of like a staggering discount, up to 30% off. So first of all, you can use my discount code, which is Josie15. You can use that even if you just want to pick up one pair of boots and that'll or shoes and that will get you 15% off. But then they also have, if you buy two pairs, 20% off, three pairs, 25% off, four pairs, up to 30% off, which is absolutely amazing. So Josie15 is the code that you need, and that will enable you to get these incredible Black Friday discounts on Vivaya. I would so highly recommend picking up this pair of boots. The lining is super comfy. It's actually a fully recycled faux fur, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, but if you guys have been following me on Instagram and followed my, I'm not going to call it my 30 day outfit challenge, because as of this moment, I've only posted 27 outfits, but but these were the absolute star of the show. So many of the outfits that I shared on Instagram featured these boots. If I can, I'll pop a few photos on the screen here so you can see some of the many, many outfits. And these are the shoes that I absolutely love to dress up. I have been styling these with jumper dresses. I've been styling these with wide leg trousers, which has been something pretty new to me. It's a style that's really, um, that I've ha been having a lot of fun experimenting with. And these are also water repellent. So in the same way as the one that I just showed you these will also water droplets just bounce off the very very first time I wore these and I think I actually vlogged that day I wore them to a Sunday roast to see my brother and his children and after the lunch we were playing out in a field and it was a muddy wet like five inches worth of grass like that much grass and it was soaking wet I'd been pouring with rain the whole time we had lunch and I just kept thinking I'm really enjoying playing with these children, but I'm gonna absolutely ruin my shoes. And these are brand new. And I did not know at the time that they were water repellent. So I'd literally just like, you know, I'd said goodbye. I'd said goodbye to the shoes and I was I was pretty sad about it. Then the next day I went to try them on with an outfit thinking, oh God, I'm gonna have to give them such a wash and clean them. They looked like this. They, I, I have not touched these. I've not brushed them. I've not got a cloth out and cleaned them and they are literally as good as new. I don't know what sorcery <laughs> Vivaya do, but as a brand, I absolutely love them. They're really um, sustainability conscious. They use a lot of recycled materials. They do a lot of like CAD CAM 3D printing, which is incredibly um, sustainable when it comes to the amount of fabric that they use to minimize wastage. The packaging is very considerate, either fully or like 90% recycled, recyclable packaging. And they're just so incredibly comfortable. I've got so many of my friends and family onto Vivaya shoes and I just love this funky little heel shape. So I think I'm leaning towards wearing these later on this afternoon. So I'm gonna try them on with a few different outfits. 
Okay, so I'm actually still wearing the first pair of boots for this outfit because I wanted to see a different way of styling the leggings <laughs> because leggings are just the ultimate comfort item and I wasn't quite ready to take them off yet. But I really love how this looks. I'm leaning into the coziness of the faux fur within the boots and I've gone for a cape. I just love a cape, especially on a cozy Sunday. If you're heading to your local pub, your local friend's house, you've got the fire lit, you're having a Sunday roast and you just want to have the coziest day, then I think a cape is such a gorgeous option. Despite the camera making it look a little bit blue, thank you Storm Janet or whatever, <laughs> whatever the storm is, it's actually a really lovely biscuity material um, and I really like the contrast in the silhouette. So you're a little bit more voluminous up the top and then you are slim on the legs thanks to the leggings and I just think that that's one of the most flattering ways that you can wear a pair of boots like this. It's one of those kind of hidden chic outfits, you're actually really, really, no, hidden comfy chic outfits because despite the fact that you look really lovely and like you've carefully considered your outfit because you're wearing something as fashionable and fabulous as a cape, essentially you're just wearing a slip-on cosy boots and leggings so you are incredibly cosy. It's basically the best kind of thing that you could possibly wear for Sunday roast for a cosy afternoon. You know those days when you're just like heading to a friend's house to chill or you've just got a really nice cosy evening planned or just to wear something like this to look and feel so chic on those days when you're working from home. I absolutely love it. I feel like my friends um, that are very cool mums doing the mums school run. This is a way of making your leggings and practical boots just look so chic. So big fan of this cape, leggings and cosy boot look. So one more outfit with the first pair of boots. I thought it, uh, and by the way, <laughs> Excuse the wet patch on my jeans. I thought I would show Charlie how cool the um, water resistance of these boots are because he was saying you still need liquid proof and I was saying no you don't. They are built in water repellent um, and clearly my trousers are not <laughs> water repellent. So please ignore that. Anyway, I thought I would do a brown and white combo. I feel a little bit like a reindeer and these are my little brown hooves, but a really nice cute look and um, you could obviously wear with normal blue coloured jeans or brown trousers but they're just so easy to slip on and I've paired it with this gorgeous chocolate brown knit which um, in this crazy lighting I'm not able to see the gorgeous cable knit detail but it has got, hmm, how can I show you, can you see it's got like the classic cable knit features to it, buttons on the sleeves, it is of course a Holland Cooper number um, and it looks black but I assure you it is a really gorgeous deep brown in fact almost perfectly you're so skewed <laughs> almost perfectly matching the boots however even after a butternut squash mac and cheese these trousers are a little bit tight and I know that I'm gonna be consuming a lot of yumminess later on today so tight jeans are not the one for today so let's go back to something a little bit more cozy Okay, my darlings, uh, fourth, third or fourth, four, leggings and jumper, cape, jeans, fourth outfit, styling the boots, and this time we are in my absolute favourites, and they almost perfectly match my favourite jumper dress. Jumper dresses being the absolute perf perfect, perfect piece if you want to eat a lot <laughs> and be super comfy and yet very, very chic. This is one of my favourites at the moment. Sorry about the lighting but it's from and other stories and it has got a little tighter section around the waist which does cinch you in um, and reveal the butternut squash mac and cheese but it's just got the most beautiful kind of like power silhouette you've got these padded shoulders you can of course remove the pads and lengthwise it's almost ankle length you just get to see the tiniest bit of uh, skin before the boots which are I have worn these for super long days in London meetings walking I'm a, I've done like a full day of walking around London in these shoes carrying heavy bags and they are so comfortable because they're kind of like a knitted sock design they just keep your foot so stable um, there's no chance in my opinion of you getting blisters in these because 
because of the sockness to them there's just nothing that can really rub um and this heel height in my opinion <laughs> sorry that's such a weird angle I'll just take them off and remind you how fabulous they are the heel height is just perfect for a full day of stomping and yet giving you that height boost so this is a real contender to wear tonight i thought i would throw on my cute little headband um what do you think i'm gonna try on one more outfit for luck I just want to also quickly show you a little close-up of the insole of these the Regina boots because it's not only the waterproof practicality and the heel height and the sock style of them that makes them super comfortable but also the insole so <laughs> please bear in mind I've had these boots for over a year um, and I've worn them a lot so they're not like you know perfectly pristine but you can see how it's a really carefully considered shape and this little padded section here so yeah they really have just sort of absolutely everything to make the boots super comfortable super versatile and long lasting so couldn't recommend any more highly now let's complete the rest of the outfit <laughs> okay i look incredibly bundled up but i have decided this is what i'm going to go with for tonight i need to be cozy i need to be practical and i have not worn this coat in so long i literally saw it in my wardrobe the other day and i was like i need to challenge myself to wear that and see if i should keep it so underneath i have got the cutest can you see um wow the sound of the rain hammering on the window uh snowflake so kind of festive jumper from Holland Cooper. I've got my ancient Reese Lawson coat. I'm back in the Bali leggings and I'm back in the original boots because I just want to be super, super comfortable. The bag is my cute new little coach one. I feel like a fluffy bag is perfect for a festive preview evening and I am definitely going to need a brolly. It is hammering it down. So. Without further ado, let's head to the Delsford Christmas preview. Okay, here we are. So the reindeer are normally out the front and they're not here, so they must be further inside somewhere. The lights all lit. It's not too busy. We're here 20 minutes after it started. So let's go and explore. Oh, it's so lovely. Oh, these are the best bits. We've got a little mini um, turkey and stuffing brioche. What's this? A little, a little pie. Yummy. We've come to the garden centre and it looks like they're doing some food demonstrations. They've got the Gosney pizza ovens and the big green eggs. Oh, let's see what is cooking. Lala just spotted the, um, the tray of rosé. So I was right when I mentioned that the other day. The rose kombucha is new this year. It is alcohol free and I've just tried some and it's delicious. Well, I'm pleased to see so many people in the garden center, but it has been transformed to the Dalesford Christmas shop. Lilla has gone straight to the dog toys. My little pony that I used to have. Hobby horse. Hobby horse. What's this for? Oh, this is um, a sustainable advent calendar. Lovely. And we've got all of the Dalesford organic vegetable tree charms. Would you like a beetroot for your Christmas tree? I think the little festive dog cape would look rather fetching on my Dexy. Oh, cute. If your sausage dog has great taste, or any kind of dog, a little cinnamon roll. Matches for the Charnwoods with defenders and a little doggy sticking out. Very cute. The first Dalesford Christmas tablescape. You'll have seen ours in the greenhouse last week. And as always, some beautiful foraged greenery in the vase, some berries, some leaf foliage, and let's see what their crockery for Christmas is this year. Love that. Lala, this looks like that piggy that we saw somewhere. The fat lady. The fat lady. Yeah, very similar. Very cute. I still don't know where we saw her. I know. Anyway. It's really annoying. This is the first time I've actually seen them using their aga here at Dalesford and I think they might be making some puddings. It smells rather delicious. Let's see what's going on in the Bamford shop. 
Clothing Boutique. the noise of the rain on my brolly but that was a gorgeous evening at Dalesford. Now arrived at the Howard Arms in Ilmington. Thank goodness for my waterproof boots because ooh, I'm gonna have to trudge it through a few puddles to get inside. But we're here for a lovely dinner and a cozy warmth with Ben and Robin. Well I was planning on having something really light after all those canapes at Dalesford but it looks like it's actually a tasting evening, my goodness. Well it looks lovely, they've got a live band, I'm the first here, Charlie's just pulled up, it's going to be absolutely delicious but I'm going to be incredibly full. darlings it's Friday morning started today with cardio Pilates at the club and um, did a quick quick hair session in the changing rooms and uh, for a little road trip now last night I need to fill you on a fill you in on was lovely <laughs> I did not realize that we were going out for a five course game tasting menu I was planning on ordering a teeny weeny little salad after all of the delicious little bites that I snuffled at the Dales for Christmas preview evening. Um, but yeah, five courses and game is not the lightest um, food, but wowza, it was so delicious. The Har I keep saying Howard, it's Howard. Howard Arms in Ilmington. The chef there really is very good. And last night I could tell he was really like, enjoying being creative with this set menu and it was delicious great to catch up as always with robin and ben too so today uh we have actually got a lovely lunch at time with jen and sam who were of course our wedding planning dream team it's going to be lovely to catch up with them the last time we saw them was a few days after our wedding the pack down and they've had a very very busy summer and we are going to have lunch at time, which is gonna be great. And then, well, actually before that, I'm heading now directly to the Burford Garden Company, which is on my way to time. And they always have the best Christmas decorations there. I'm presuming they're gonna have their Christmas shop set up. Yeah, I have no doubt in my mind that they will. So meeting Charlie there, I need to get out of this lady's way. Anyway, um, I'll see you at Burford Garden Company. Burford and I'm pleased to report the Christmas shop is open. I think this is my favorite place to come and shop for baubles. You like what, sorry, do I? The owl? Oh, he's rather cute. 
They've got, oh, look at the deer. That's gorgeous. I think we need to get a few of those. There she is. She's a little bit glitterier than usual this year. I'm not going to tell you her name. I'm going to let you guys pop it in the comments down below if you're a, a Vlogmas previous year watcher. And a little baby version. What should we call her? <laughs> I'm loving the green almost. Um, it's kind of a little bit Great Gatsby style, but I love them. We always get a little bit carried away here but it's hard not to when the decorations are so gorgeous. Gisella Graham. We've got some very cute little robins. I think my mum will like those. Oh my goodness, there is a little greenhouse. That is adorable. We're gonna have to get one of those. The pheasant who had one too many pies. <laughs> this is a new theme that I've not seen before. It's kind of a little bit Nordic, I guess. Lots of ceramics and hand painted styles from Gisela Graham and Nkuku. That's new from Nkuku this year. Mm -hmm. Quite nice, isn't it? Well, sometimes you just need like blocks of colour to break yeah. up the pretty ones. These ones are standing out. I like these ones. Mm, I like They're the ones with the. glass, aren't they? Yeah. They're very expensive though, my goodness. I think we've potentially found the new star of the 2023 Vlogmas intro. Right, what's his name? Roger. Roger the, Roger the Robin. Rog. Rog. <laughs> Rog. He looks a bit like Sausage Doggy, doesn't he? Do you know he? what they're like? Do you know he why I like the, things like this is? Because, because in the house, silly. if you're having a stressful day or whatever, you'll see that and just chuckle. Yeah. And it just makes me think of Fat Robins. Because he's and we so rotund. Fat Robins in our garden. We have, because we've got so many berries on there. Yeah. All quite overweight. Although, well, this is going to be boring for YouTube, but... I was meant to show you this. I found a photo of our archway this time last year and it looks completely full of crab apples. Full of no full of berries. And we yeah. don't have them this year. How weird. So look, that was it this time last year. And we haven't got one red berry no. yet. It's really strange. So maybe it's strange. I like these little light up robins. Yeah. I'm not a fan. Prefer the fat one. Yeah, I, I think it's the plasticiness of them I'm not mad at. Mm. Okay. He looks a bit Dumbledore-y. He looks, he looks a bit like a cardinal. A cardinal. <laughs> yeah. I think you should get a small robin as well. Yeah, okay. What would the small robin be called? Um, what was the big one called? Rog? Ronnie? No, I think there's a few options. Big, small, medium and large. Oh. I think we should... I think the one with the green scarf should be Ronnie. What do we think? I oh, like the darker colour. Yeah. Yeah? He's quite tasteful. Or do you think the thing in the mouth looks good? Let's see. Let me have a close-up look. I'm not sure. Oh, I like him. Yeah, he's a bit greedy. Yeah. Right, so Ronnie's got a bit of mistletoe. And Rog has been well fed. <laughs> Mine and Charlie's... We've got to think, sorry, we've got to think about straw top as well. Okay, we found some nutcrackers. I remember we tried to find some here last year. I don't think they had any. Maybe I think they, they sell, sell out. out very quickly. Yeah, I do like the one in the green jacket, I but just, Charlie just, doesn't like the violence. I just think the fact that he's got a sword. I'm thinking everything through with like children, and I just don't <laughs> like the fact that it's got a sword. I don't think anyone's going to be inciting violence based on a nutcracker, but if that's your decision. <laughs> Jolly good. We found a green jacketed nutcracker that's not doing anything violent. There we go. Gosh, there's yeah. one up there with a gun. That's what I mean. Nutcrackers sure are going that. a bit wild this yeah, year. Yeah, the nutcrackers this year are on a map. Oh, we don't have one of these. Look, he's the, like the candy man. What do you think about him? No, I'm not sure on him. Not traditional enough? No. No? Okay. I think he's a bit. The drummer's coming with us. Sprout fans will be over the moon. There's everything from toilet paper to sprout party poppers, sprout lights, sprout napkins, sprout crackers. <gasps> My goodness, is that a sprout decoration? Almost. <laughs> Well, this is my first time seeing the beautiful new um, hexagonal cloches from Claverton Cloche. They're based down in Somerset. So, yeah. absolutely beautiful. These are the ones that we've got. Um, and then these are their new designs. I like they these. They are so lot, lovely. Yeah, beautiful. Nice and a, bit a little bit more affordable than the yeah, big I mean, squares. Yeah, super, they are super high in price, but they will outlast us. Yeah, you never so have to you, buy them so again. To be honest, once you've got two or three, yeah, exactly. And the funny thing is, when you see old ones, they actually cost more. 
because yeah. people want to buy them yeah, to look true. like they've been in the garden yeah, for 30 years. Yeah. Buy it once. Oh, well, what's the expression? Buy... Can't remember. <laughs> Don't know. Moral of the story is they're lovely. Charlie and I were just debating whether we're going to grow garlics and onions and it's quite fun if you see bulbs for unusual varieties that you can't normally buy in shops. So these are pink garlic cloves, so of course we've got a few of those, and these are meant to be a really nice rich flavour and they look a little bit raspberry ripply. So I've already got one of those, are you doing another one? Do you, I think that's only going to... what will that grow? Like. So you take the bulbs and plant them individually? Yeah. Yes, you'll grow quite a few. Yeah. I remember saying this exact thing last year, but I always think garden centres are the best place for picking up Christmas gifts. And these are just the loveliest um, presentation of little seed packets. So flower posies, microgreens. I think that would be such a nice gift idea if you know someone that really wants to get into gardening, but maybe they live in an apartment. As long as they've got a windowsill, then they can grow microgreens and they're so good for you. They've got a bit more space and some pollinators for the bumblebees. And then there's specific varieties, verbena, which we love, sweet pea, of course. So many lovely ones, and yeah, it's really fun, fun packaging. That's awesome. Does it teach you how to do it? Yeah, so hang on. Well, it's kept a 33-year-old entertained, so. Oh, it's the dance of the sugar plum fairy. Can I have a go? Right, we're definitely getting that. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, she got her bedroom done. Because she, she was very much kind of, can, um, can, can we do my room first? But they, they're doing, but Louise said, we could just be her. <laughs> This is the most civilised selection of children's books I think I've ever seen. The Animal Orchestra plays Bach. <laughs> How absolutely gorgeous. This is so wholesome. Peter Rabbit, Tales from the Countryside. It's definitely the place to come for children's gifts, isn't it? Oh, That's beautiful. I want this for our future children. Fair, this was one of my favourite books. No. I'd still rank. I think Wolf is old enough for this. Yeah? Yeah, and this, this is an outrageous book. The Hungry Caterpillar. This is just adorable. What have you spotted? Pirate ship. Pirate ship. Oh, that is so cool. How old, how old do you have to be to build that? Three plus years. Don't think I could even figure that out, and I'm ten times that age. I like to play with Bill. That was my thing. Yeah? Oh my goodness, look at these dolls' houses and the furniture sets. Gosh, children these days don't know how lucky they are. Oh, it's like a little Swiss, Swiss townhouse. This is cute. Oh, Lexi? Oh, it's my Lexi. They've got a Lynn. <laughs> so got a cute. Yeah, have oh, Bunny. <laughs> that, that is my filet. <laughs> Seriously, that is actually pretty realistic. Look how he's a bit fat as well. You do know it's a bunny rabbit. I know, but that's what Dickens is. He yeah, is. He's look, just a bunny. That is literally Dexter. It's cute. Dickens. This is the ultimate gift for children that love to play shops. So you've got your harvest vegetables. Oh my gosh, a toy you know what, farm though, what shop. I've always, obviously, we're, we're not parents, so we don't know everything. But <laughs> I've always thought wooden toys are better because you can clean them. Like, mm. you can just spray and wipe them down. There's even a toy pizza oven. That wow. is amazing. Oh, have you seen this? Oh my goodness, look. That's so do fancy. You know I wonder if they do an Arga. <gasps> How cool would that be? Toy Arga. And look over here, they've got a little play box with a tractor on it. <laughs> this is amazing. For your Cotswold children, you've got the Defenders, the Horse Boxes, <laughs> <That's amazing. laughs> the JCBs, the John Deers. That's so funny. <laughs> this tractor even comes with a hay bale. <laughs> this is amazing. Quick little 
our outfit of the day. We've made it to time. And I've just realised, darling, the last time we were here was the day after our wedding, wasn't it? You're correct. Yeah, the 17th of June. Yeah, which is very fitting because we're meeting Jen and Sam, our wedding family. Of course. So, outfit of the day. Uh, this is a new Holland Cooper dress. It's cable knit. So um, look. It's very elegant. Gorgeous. Let's have a look at the it's knit. It's so nice because it's got the little um, sleeve detail. They just know what they're doing, don't they? They do. And I love a knit dress. Um, and I love the length because sometimes you don't want ankles showing when it's a bit chilly. These are my Vivaya sock boots. And they're very practical because um, they are... Yeah, I like them. Talent. Do you remember when I wore these when we went playing with um, the children? The thing is, they're, they're smart casual enough for something like this, like a lunch. Yeah. But they're also super comfortable, right? They are. Yeah, I could wear these all day. And then this coat um, is about seven years old. It's my Reese Lawson coat. And then my new Gucci bag. Love it. Which fits all of my essentials in. Right, the boots are made for walking, mate. Lunch is called in. Let's see. Shop at time. Charlie spotted. Is it a gilet or no? It's no, like it's, a boucle. I think you'd call it a chore jacket, mainly, but it's a shirt. Or I think it, this is boucle. Mm -hmm. I think this is more shirt. Yeah. Well, it's like a flatter boucle. Bit more boiled. That's yeah. nice, isn't it? Like yeah. the olives. Lovely. Yes. Oh, and of course they've got their little ceramic vegetable tree charms. So cute. This is always one of my favourite rooms. Yeah. It's so bright and beautiful. The furniture in here is gorgeous. Big antique units. I'm gonna have to pop up to the other shop later. So Time have launched a pre-fee, a fixed price uh, set menu, which sounds sensationally mouth-watering. Beef and peppercorn ragu, succulent. I want, actually I want one of everything. Oh, one no. of absolutely everything. <laughs> Yummy. Oh. came they have got fabric and wallpaper in the Bertioli prints they are so fun imagine having radish cushions and vine tomato curtains straw top too maybe we've fallen a little bit in love with these cushions and I think we're gonna pick up a couple for our living room this one is so fun I'm trying to think if this would look good in the pink room or this as a bed throw cushion the little radishes so sweet. All the aprons, beautiful patterns. Back home again after a lovely time at time and I'm going to show you a few of the goodies that we purchased today. So our Burford Garden Company haul, of course we need to give this little chap, or not so little chap, a name. Do you know what, I probably won't go through all the Christmas decorations, it feels just a little bit too early for all of that, but we did pick up a few more nutcrackers. Um, do you know I say that, but I have already seen people doing decorating for Christmas videos. We've got the two new little pheasants that we need to name, and of course, what did we call him? Rog the Robin. Sorry, Rog, I'm gonna lift you up by your tail. Oh my goodness, we've got the new wildflower seed, mini Rog, Rog Jr. I think, didn't we call him Ronnie? I think that's Ronnie. A few candles, the green nutcracker. Oh my goodness, this has got me very excited for Christmas decorating. And then we've got a few gifts in here, a few of the lovely children's books, more candles, and what's this? Ah, the long dinner table candles. And we also made a few purchases at time that I'll show you in the living room. Would you like to show us Chicken Nugget? Oh, we're getting the full investigation. Yes, we always get the full investigation when we come home. So we picked up a few of the cushions and pillows, which the boys are very excitedly <laughs> discovering. I'm going to wait for Charlie to come down. And I think we might pop them on here because it's very plain this sofa but we shall see charlie had a vision this is what i call the fake wag when it's like they're fake smiling at each other right full investigation what do we think 
what do we think? We can't decide if we want to explore the cushions or if we want to play with each other. A bit of both. You are funny. You are funny. Chicky looks like he wants to get inside the bags. <laughs> My goodness, it is cozy in here. We've actually decided they don't really go <laughs> with our sofa downstairs, but luckily they look really cute in this little window seat here, and I think that they I feel like that's probably the wrong way up, isn't it? I think it should be that way around. Yes, there we go. Um, yeah, it's just really nice to see them in this window. It's a very beautifully styled window with the Morrison Co. fabric and then the Bertioli by Time cushions. Not sure where Charlie's put the third one. I would have popped it in the middle there, but I really do love this bedroom. It's so cozy. Um, do you know what? Are these... Time? Yes, that's quite a nice tie-in because these are the menus from Time which Karen, the owner, draws and does each season. We always um, ask, of course, but we always take one home with us. The new one, I think, was a little nettle or a thistle that we took home with us today. So, yeah, that's a really nice little tie-in. Not where we intended to put them, but they look very cute. I just popped on an even cosier outfit and my darlings, I feel like this vlog is maybe a little bit shorter than some of the last ones. Um, maybe I will continue it tomorrow, but for the sake of my own diary and getting ahead, because I do like to take a little break before Vlogmas, not a big one, just a few days after my birthday and before the everyday uploads of Vlogmas, I do like to take a little break, so if I do do more three day vlogs and I won't get a break. Anyway, sorry, I'm just thinking about my diary in my head. So my darlings, I will bid you farewell. Thank you so much for watching this very cosy November in the Cotswolds vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Everything that we've spoken about will of course be linked down below and please do just check to see if you are subscribed. If you've been enjoying the videos and you don't want to miss Vlogmas, then make sure you're subscribed and my darlings, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.